One more time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I create three of my customized droplets. When I'm done, we're going to load those up in the van along with a bunch of my other artwork. We're going to Manti, Utah to the 2021 Rat Pink Reunion. The Rat Pink Reunion is very special. It's an event put on every year for the Rat Pink artists, Rat Pink fans, anybody that who knows anything about Ed Big Daddy Roth and the Rat Pink. Special thanks to Eileen Roth, Ed's wife, and family for putting this event on every year. It gives us an opportunity to really get out there and have a good time with good people. Let's get started. You'll notice on the first two rockets, the Rat Fink is painted in acrylic. If you check out episode 5 on my channel, you'll see details on how to do this. Besides, it's kind of a fun video. <laughs> the purple rocket was for the 5K giveaway. This second one is the Artist Pick Trophy. If you stick around to later in the video, you'll get to see what incredible machine gets this trophy. Is a lot of fun to create and even more fun to present. So before I forget, please like and subscribe. And questions and comments are always welcome. Thank you very much. As you can see, the gold leaf is super thin of fragile foilistic, an extremely thin foil that adheres to the sizing glue. It's tricky to work with, but extremely rewarding in the end. It makes such a beautiful piece. And now for the fun part. It's always rewarding brushing away the excess for the big reveal. I'll definitely make an upcoming video on my channel and go a little more in detail on this. There's a lot of great tricks to be learned with this stuff. This one's about ready for pouring resin, so let's get on to the last one. The idea of this piece is to do a collage laminate of one of my drawings on top of this rocket. And it's also the first of my rockets with a backer that'll really make this thing stand out. So we'll make a pattern for the backer and then we'll get on to some hand lettering in acrylic. I decided to go with a 60 style lettering and then we'll outline it in enamel. Check this out.
Okay, it's time to speed it up, because we know we love us some time lapse. <laughs> Look at me go. Wish I could really paint that fast. Well, that was fun. Let's give these things a drink of two-part epoxy resin. I enlisted the help of my wife and partner, Roswell. She's been a pro at this stuff for years. Few things cover as good or have this kind of gloss. I really am a fan of this stuff. The next day, when the resin is all cured, we carefully load everything into the van and it's off to the reunion. Road trip! Power engines down the strip in a maze of smoke and sizzling rubber. Trip in a maze of smoke and sizzling rubber. And sizzling rubber. Racers want to lay as much rubber as possible to get the... After the drive from Las Vegas, and with the booth set up, we've got everything ready to go. I gotta tell you, I sure like all that color. I am super stoked. I think it's time for a walk through the museum. What do you say? So here's Baby Fink. What a hit with the kiddos. <laughs> so there is no doubt this building holds a vast collection of history, amazement, and pure custom culture. So beside the work Ed created, a great deal of the stuff in here has been created by the artists that are here each year. A bunch of them are here this weekend. I feel truly privileged to be friends with these incredibly talented and wonderful people. People we call our Fink family. So here is a display of Ed's workshop in the very last vehicle he was working on. A trike called the boogie wagon. I gotta tell you, it's quite a privilege to have one of my pieces on display in the museum. So by looking around, one thing's perfectly clear. Fink artists will paint on anything that won't paint on them first. From cars and toilet seats to trash cans, skateboard decks, you name it, they'll paint on it. Whoa, looky looky. Bob Fry's brought Shaboom, the flamethrowing truck. Now then, this thing knows how to party. Check this out. Yeah, we heard more than once. Hey, who brought the marshmallows? Okay, so it's Saturday morning, time to go down to the park for the car show and auction. <laughs> Vehicle owners from all over the place bring their cars, bikes, trikes, you name it, it comes here. They all converge on the park and put on an incredible show. Hundreds of vehicles were present this year and some of the best I've ever seen. As you've seen in the video, each artist creates their personal version of a trophy and presents it to the car of their choice. So what did Roswell and I at Retro Mod Studio choose? We chose this beautiful purple panhead rigid chopper owned by Ed Maroney and his wife. So being a custom painter, I've built and painted tons of bikes over the years. 
My wife and I both ride, so this was a pretty easy choice for us. We wanted to pick something different this year, and this one just fit the bill. The paint and craftsmanship on this bike were spot on. So here's a look at the gleaming Ratfink Rocket Trophy <laughs> and the presentation. It's always fun to see him smile. Next up, the charity auction. And trust me, everybody was happy to help out this year. Wow, what a cool experience. And also, a shout out of gratitude to everybody that stopped by the booth to chat us up, comment, criticize, compliment, call us crazy, or collect my art. Love to all. It's really good to know there's this kind of crazy wonderful in life. So come join us and check it out. So with another year down and some tearful goodbyes, it's back to Las Vegas and start thinking about next year. And there you have it everyone, an adventure to behold. And remember, stay weird because weirdos have more fun. Until next time, Rob Rocket over and out.